Corey. Hi. Nice of you to join us. Francie, what? No, I talk. Okay? Great. Now, let's discuss Paris. What about her? She seems to have the very strange idea that she's actually in charge around here. And I thought it'd be good if I let you in on a little secret. She's not. Why don't you tell her this yourself? Well, because talking to Paris is like shopping for a bathing suit in December. Frustrating, fruitless, and a complete waste of time. No, you. You might be the wallflower, but you're obviously the Meyer Lansky behind this organization. I am not the Meyer Lansky. What's that noise? What is that noise? Oh, wait, it's me, still talking. Didn't you hear it? Obviously not. Anyhow, Paris is student body president. Big, fat deal. There are three other class presidents, the junior class president, the sophomore class president, and oh, yes, the senior class president, me. I know all this. Well, then it's off the short bus for you, isn't it? Now, if Paris thinks she's gonna march around dictating mandates and ignoring what I have to say, then she's in for a major bikini wax. Thanks for the visual. Without me, she's nothing. Just another power-mad, insecure, friendless, dateless, highlightless loser wandering around trying to make someone care that they exist at all, which, by the way, no one does. I control the senior class. I am also the leader of the Puffs, the most exclusive society on this campus, and I have the power to make her life a living hell. Francie, she's just... I can make sure she does nothing this year but lead the student body in whatever version of the Pledge of Allegiance happens to be constitutional at the time. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to go back to Margaret Thatcher and tell her to play ball. She's going to support the hemline issue and any other issue that I bring up for the rest of the year. Otherwise, I'll make her so ineffectual she'll make Jimmy Carter look like Martin Sheen. Do you get me? We're supposed to be representing the interests of the student body. We are not supposed to be brokering backdoor deals and pushing through agendas with intimidation and bribery. I mean, what are we, French skating judges? Wise up, Goldilocks. My hair is brown. This is politics. If you've got a problem, tell it to Noam Chomsky. I live in the real world. Now blow. Oh, and I would keep this conversation between you and me. Paris tends to get a little paranoid when there's other mammals at the watering hole, so her finding out that you were conferring with me might not make your vice presidency any easier. I am not conferring with you. A hand came out of the bathroom and pulled me in. What are you talking about? You sought me out because you thought Paris was a little out of line today and you wanted to make sure my very delicate feelings weren't hurt. You are so sweet to think of me. I feel much better now that I have you on my side. Bye now. See you at the hamster.